pizza time. Okay. Let's see if we can get a good swing factory done, because, uh... It's been a second. I mean, I was, I, uh, I was just planning on doing, like, one run, right, of Noid. I was just planning on, um, you know, playing playing through it on, on a video, calling it a speed run when I obviously had not um, ever practiced it before. But then it got, like, very fun to play. Like, I just, I, I very much... I wanted to keep playing it, and, and, uh... And here I am playing it, you know? It's weird, because sometimes you just, um... Out of nowhere get the motivation to, like, learn a speedrun route. And I, I generally don't like learning speed games, um... Because they're, no, like, most vast, vast majority of games have bad resources. Um... And, um... I generally play games that don't have good resources. Maybe it's because they're small, obscure games. Um, maybe it's because nobody in the community cared enough. Um, and so, like learning learning a route is 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 a commitment because you need to figure it out, um, ask questions, etc. And I don't know what the resources are like for Noid, because I literally just watched um, Rythin's run and learned it from that. So <laughs> maybe there's actually good tutorials out there, but mm. I clearly didn't um, look for any. But it worked out fine. But yeah, I generally like... I, I don't... I don't want to learn new speed games primarily because I don't want to learn um, the route. That that's oftentimes a source of frustration for me. Um, which is why, like, if I if I run a speed game that doesn't have like a guide to it, a lot of, or sometimes it does have a guide, but like I don't like the guide. So, um, like in the case of Ko the Kangaroo Two, there are actually quite a few. Um, resources for that game when I learned it but there were not the resources that I was looking for and um, so as I was learning the game I, I created just very basic guides to all of the tricks that I, I ended up learning um, you know when Ben 10 power trick what trip when I learned that um, I made a full tutorial for the whole game um, that is, you know, a little all over the place, but it works. Because, like, if I had that when I was learning it, it would have been so much easier, right? Um, and I think because of my past experience with learning games like, um, like Ben 10 Power Trip, like Fragments of Euclid, games where I just watch the world record and figure it out, I think that has been part of the reason that, like, learning a new speed game properly it is quite intimidating for me and it and it's probably contributed quite a bit to the number of one and dones on my profile is the fact that like these are games that i like and find fun but i don't want to learn the speedrun for and so i'm trying to look for maybe a better solution to that like um and i think noid has been like um a sort of realization where it's like i enjoyed learning this game more than I thought I would. So maybe I don't need to be intimidated by new games, right? Maybe maybe I can 
sort of move past that. And maybe I can look for games that have these good resources. I mean, I, I could just play more popular games if I'm really that worried about learning the obscure ones. And so I was looking at um, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, which is... It has a full speedrun tutorial on YouTube. Um, and I was thinking, like, I don't want to learn this because I don't want to find out... Like, I don't want to learn the, the optimal route for the Waddlebees. And then I figured, like, well... Why don't I try it, at least? So, I'm not saying that I'm definitely going to run Kirby in the Forgotten Land. That, that's not what I'm trying to say. But I am saying, like... I might look into it, because... Um, I would like to have more games that I'm, like, happy with my runs on. Like, I would, I would like to have more games like Tokobot Plus... Uh, like Ben 10 Power Trip, where I've really put in an effort to, to get good runs um, and that I can get rewarded for it by just having something to show off on my profile. And, and right now, I don't have a lot of games that are actually like that because I do so many one and done runs or I like, even if I do learn a game, there's no guarantee that I'll get good at it. So it, it's one of those things where... And it might make me better at follow following through when I say like, oh, I might check out this game. Um, hopefully I'll become better at following through with that, like actually learning the game instead of just deciding that it's not for me when I realize that any percent is over an hour long. And the thing is, it's not like I don't like long runs. I actually think long runs are um, more fun for me. I just don't like learning them because there's so much more you need to think about. And um, if I could just get over that instinct that tells me like don't learn don't learn speedruns, if I could get over that instinct, then um, maybe I would be more fulfilled by my presence on speedrun.com. I am choking so hard right now. This platforming segment is not that hard. Um. Wow, really? I thought I'd be able to grab that. If I if I choke a PB because of this platforming segment, I'm gonna be really upset because Okay, how much how much are we minus? So plus 4.1. That is really not bad considering our delta on Domino Dungeon, so I will take that and run with it. Hopefully so my mic fight in um my PB was actually pretty good. Like, it wasn't um, record or anything, and there were a few execution mistakes, but it was a lot faster than my previous runs, right? So I'm hoping that I can kind of match that pace going into Mike here, but I'm probably going to stop talking so that I can focus on the boss fight properly once I get there, because I don't want to make any of those execution mistakes. Um... Because if it does end up being slower than my PB, I would like it to be slower because of like RNG or whatever, instead of being slower because I, I played bad. So, yeah. But I, I, I definitely could earn like a, a good time with this, so. Let's try and do it fast, but not, but not like, <laughs> not, not try to go too fast, but I, that I end up fucking it up, right? Oh, come on. Spinning is so awkward on, like, a, a keyboard, right? Let me just mash.
Okay, that's one. Come on! That was like... That was bad. Okay, okay, okay. That's definitely a PB, but yeah, I'm kind of upset by my split here, because, like, I don't know. The mistakes were more than I would have liked, but... 1331! Not, not bad at all. Not even half bad. God, that could have been that could have been better, but you know, I'm not upset by it. It's a 30 second PB still, uh, first sub 14 for me, so that's nice. And um, yeah.